This week on Cannon Hall Farm TV, David and Ruth are getting the Highland cattle show ready. We're also going to be scanning the Shetland ponies. Let's see how many foals we get this summer. And David, don't forget, we're also scanning the alpacas to see if they're pregnant too. You're right, Rob. So uh, watch this space. Hey up, guys. We're going to go and look at Fern and Ted and see how they're getting on. Ted is growing into a, a, a nice little stocky bull. Uh, and we're going to give him a nice little walk to keep him used to uh, being shown. Come on. I'll come and give you a hand, hang on. Right, so Ted won't be stopping here at Cannon Hall Farm. He is a stock bull, so uh, the intention is that he moves off onto another, far, uh, another farm so that he can become a dad of his own eventually. Obviously not yet. Uh, he's still maturing, he's still a young man. Um, and he's got to learn manners as well, as you can see. We're going backwards. <laughs> Come on, stand up. What do you reckon to uh, Ted then as a young bull? You're the most experienced uh, stocksman here. Experienced probably, yes, but not most skillful probably. Uh, I think he's got an excellent confirmation. Uh, he's a really stockily built bull. And, and in a highland you, you need some something with some timber on it and he's got it all he might be a little bit small for his age but uh, we're going to push him on and, uh, and get him a bit bigger and uh, i think his confirmation will, uh, will get him places so he is hoping so are we going to be seeing these to any shows this year dave well we're hopefully the yorkshire show but it's all on condition and She's due to carve before the Yorkshire show, so if all goes well, yeah, she'll be back uh, and hopefully, instead of getting reserve champion, we might get champion this year. Right, John Bonponi had a mad, passionate weekend in May and we're about to find out if anything came of it. We've got five Shetland ponies that we're going to scan. Hopefully, all five will be expecting, but, you know, did John Bond do his job? This is what we're all asking. Right, the first one was regrettably a no, so it's been a bit of a hammer blow to us. So we're really, really hoping that the little black and white one will, uh, will be a positive. She's pregnant! Yeah! We are positive! Uh, Good girl. Just give me a minute, I'm going to shake hands with John Bonpony. Uh, the second one is pregnant, it's confirmed, so that's wonderful news. It means that John Bonpony is fertile, which is a massive plus, because we love him. And, um, and it means we've got to look forward to the pitter-patter of, uh, of pony hooves around May or June time. How many more have we got to scan? Three more to go. He's this like is my favourite pony, I really want this to be in full. What's yeah. with that one then, Rob? Uh, that's a no, unfortunately. So, uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's one out of three at the moment. That's a no. That work. Yeah, and that's another no, so we've only got one out of four so far. So, uh, we're trying the last one now. Right, that's uh, the... The really disappointing result, I suppose it could be worse, we could have none. We've got one in full, uh, the black and white one, the rest are uh, sadly not. Yeah. Um, we're going to have to talk to Matt the vet, we're going to have to uh, have a right good think. Um, we're not pointing the finger at John Bonponi, are we? Because you managed to get one pregnant, but, uh, but yeah, we need to find a way of giving them a better chance. Right guys, we've had a, a big disappointment with the Shetland ponies. We're going to uh, scan the alpacas now and hopefully uh, we're going to get some little baby careers out of them. Good girl. Come on, make them goggles work, please. Pregnant. Oh. No. That's it. Good girl, right, that's it. Yep, definitely pregnant. Uh, right, this is uh, right. nearly 20 years old. This is the, uh, the old white one. It was born in Chile, actually. So... <laughs> He's got some cold hands. Yeah, well I figured that there's going to come a time in the fairly near future where she'd stop breeding. And it looks like that time has arrived, so it's not the end of the world that. She's, uh, she's probably ready for retiring. 
This is Deirdre. Deirdre? Of Yorkshire vet fame. Um, if you remember, she had uh, teeth that were described as like Austin Powers by Julian. And um, anyway, hopefully she'll uh, she'll be expecting as well. Yes, we're definitely pregnant and we're heavier. Uh, three out yeah. of five. So we're not grumbling at that. The old white one we knew was getting ready for retiring. Um, I'm a bit surprised at the uh, at the cream one because I did expect that to be yeah, in, but in calf. She's suckling and she may just get in calf next year. I suppose what it proves is that our male is is fertile. Yeah. But he hasn't managed to uh, quite seal the deal with the uh, the cream one yet. No. But there's still time. Uh, thanks for watching Cannon Hall Farm TV. We're a, we're a little bit gutted, if we're, we're being honest. We expected more of the Shetlands to be in fall, um, but that's that's farming, isn't it? Yeah, Rob? exactly. It's, uh, yeah. We've got the we've got the one fall. We've got to make sure we take it through to a, a successful birth and yeah. uh, and just look after it, and make the best. Yeah, and you know we've always got the alpacas to look forward to. Absolutely. Yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.